Hey, what's up? It's Jims. I want to share some little known history with you guys. Oftentimes when people speak about concentration camps, we only think of Nazi Germany and the Jews. However, America had its own concentration camps where millions of black people died right here on American soil. During and after the Civil War, there was a place called, there is a place called the Devil's Punch Bowl in Natchez, Mississippi. And 20,000 black people were killed right there in the Devil's Punch Bowl. And it's a big, large crater shaped place where it said Union soldiers, soldiers put a, it's around this whole hole and forced the mothers and children in there and let them starve to death. And even after they died, they told the other black slaves and free, I'm sorry, the black freedmen to bury the people wherever they stood, wherever they died at, they had to bury them right there. So they just buried them right there in the devil's punch bowl. And now they say it's a grove where peaches grow on these trees and they look so good, but no one will eat them because they know the history of what happened right there and what's nourishing those plants and causing them to grow. Um, but you know, the way some of these supremacists operate, they would just love to eat that, eat some fruit that they thought came through the bones of some old dead slaves and people that they starved to death. They would just love that. So I don't know how true that is that people don't eat the peaches because I could definitely see people would love to. But I wanted to share that with you because we don't hear about that. They don't teach you about that in, in regular schools, uh, typically about concentrations be camps being here and black people that were left to starve. They were crying out for help. Some were even crying to go back to the plantation. It was so bad and they died. A lot of them had smallpox and spread smallpox and so they died of disease along with starvation. So you can only imagine the smells, the, the screams, the cries, these children and adults left there to suffer. And it said these were union soldiers. And the reason for that, the reason for them doing this, they said because the town, the town of Natchez had like 10,000 people. But at that point, uh, well, it ended up going to 100,000 people due to the black freedmen and some, I guess, that escaped from slavery and all of that. There were so many black people that they wanted to get rid of some of them. But I wanted to share that. I hope uh, you found some good information in that or some history that you may have not have heard or maybe you did and you forgot about. But these are things that we have to kind of keep alive ourselves because the dominant society does not really put um, any emphasis on us learning our history. And they make sure that they teach their own all about their history. They have all those statues and museums full of crap about their um, about their people, whether they were Confederate soldiers that that ended up losing, they still make them heroes, probably just because what they stood for. And yeah, so I just want you to be educated on that. And until next time, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And make sure you hit the like, share and subscribe. But I'll talk to you soon. Peace.